Okay, so bunkai for, G, for kata geon. Now, geon is obviously a third, going for third dan kata. So obviously uh, the bunkai is going to be a little bit more eccentric. However, sometimes the simpler the bunkai, the more practical, the more easier it looks, the better the bunkai, all right? So we're going to look at the first sequence, going from this position here to the double arm, the lapel grab, the kick, and obviously with the two punches. We're going to look at that sequence in a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to do a cross grab for me, please, on this, on this particular side. So obviously the first part of the kata is to do the step back and the double arm block, so to get, get the limb off. Now what happens if, like Bailey has just done there, he reattaches, yeah? The next part of the kata is literally to grab a hold, well, I say grab hold, it's a cross. But in this instance, we're going to grab the kick, the punch, yeah? I'm for safety purposes, I'm doing it as a palm. I don't, I don't want to rip the lad's head off, okay? So, what I'm going to do, we're going to do it from this position here. So, Bailey's gone to grab my arm, I was, I was going to grab him. Too late, I've already got hold of him. Knee, bang. Straight forward, yeah? Sometimes, like I say, it might look easy when you're doing all these big blase movements, yeah? But obviously, this is the reason why you do it, because when you're in close quarters like this, you don't know exactly what that person is going to do. He could want to throw a headbutt at me, you know. If he wants to go throw a headbutt at me, throw a headbutt at me, bang. I can put my hands up. If I, if I just remove my hands for a second, there's the start of Gion. The grab part of Gion. Not necessarily, you know, people going back and you think he's doing this and he's ripping, he's ripping his throat out. Not necessarily. It can be a grab. It could actually be a block if somebody wanted to headbutt you. That's why the hands are like that. Think outside the box, especially when you're going for third down, because it doesn't, sometimes, some of the stuff that you do, you look at it and you think it doesn't make sense. So only when you look at it in fine detail like this, that you sort of unbox what they're trying to tell you. Thank you for watching. We will see you on the next video.